Hey there, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today we are back at PlayWiki Farm. This time I'm going to go down some of the trails that I didn't go down last time, and I want to see if I can try to find this uh, limestone kiln that they have here. I don't know if it's still completely together or intact, however you want to say that, uh, but we're going to find out. So let's get in there and check this out. So as I was walking down the trail from up there, and I'm looking over here to the right, I can't help but just like stare at the, uh, the foliage here and how brightly green it is despite the fact that we we've had like pretty much a drought going on <clears throat> we actually uh did have some pretty heavy rains a couple nights ago but man this is really lush and green and there's a lot of stuff in here that i've never seen before different types of ferns too than i've ever seen but not the main focus of the video right so let's keep going down until we hit that grove or whatever it is that you want to call it it's like big open neatly mowed area or at least it was the last time i was here all right so here we are um apparently the uh, limestone quarry was that swamp and you could see it in this picture that swamp that i threw the rock into and somebody had made mention of that in the comments so i appreciate you telling me that and uh i was also told if you go around to the right past that you'll get a nice view of it so we're going to see that and here's the remains of the limestone kiln or the lime kiln uh, i'm trying to see um boo, boo, boo. well i mean you can read all this if you'd like i'm just kind of skimming through it and the only date i see is uh, 1830 but in some articles that i read about the kiln that they they use this to cook the limestone in for whatever reason and um it dates back to the time of the settlers so i mean i'm not sure if that's 100 percent accurate that was just a little article written by somebody but we'll find out where it is and i'm sure there'll be a sign there as well maybe it'll have more information on it this area is so cool though now the last time i was here i had that big blue water jug with me i have as I mentioned, I've since thrown that out because it had a strange taste in it. And uh, that mainly came from when I was doing the garden over at Neshaminy State Park. And I didn't have any water for the plants, so I just borrowed some water from that little pond, which was filled with tadpoles and mosquito larvae. And there just went a little baby uh, groundhog, or, yeah, groundhog. <laughs> Wonder if that's the same one we saw when we were leaving this area. Probably. Just so peaceful back here. You can kind of hear the vehicles as they pass in the distance, but not really. This tree's pretty cool. Actually, it's two trees. One's kind of down and leaning on the other one. It's got vines going all through it. And I am not touching those vines because I don't know what they are. And every time I touch vines, I get poison ivy, which kind of sucks for work, but very cool bench. This one's got ribbons on it. In memory of the class of Nishamini 78, friends of Chris Fusaro, the heart and soul of a lion. That's nice. All right, here's this bridge again. It was right across this bridge and straight is where that uh, swamp was, or still is, I would assume. Little offshoot of Neshaminy Creek, I'm pretty sure. Since that's the only uh, body of water near here that I know of. And I think if we keep going on the uh, on the trails, we'll come across in the Chamonix Creek. We're like in between where I was at the falls in the uh, in the last video, I think it was, or not not the last video, the one before that. Last video was Benjamin Rush. Um, so we're like in between those falls and the Chamonix Falls. So 
So this here is the uh, limestone quarry. And I see the view that I was told about. There's a rock up there. See, we came in from the right where the bridge is. And I bet that's what this trail is for, to go around that. So we'll take this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Wow. The trail splits off in two directions there, but I think we want to go this way. It's pretty humid out. Not as hot as it's been, but humid. Wow. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but we're pretty high up from where we just were. No wonder I was out of breath. It was a steep incline. Still kind of out of breath, actually. Whoop. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, we're right next to the pond, or the uh, swamp. You can already see it from up here. We'll find an opening in the trees, or bushes. Of course I walk into a spider web, why wouldn't I? Here's the rock I was talking about. Now I could go past this rock, there's another one there. But uh, I think we can get the idea from here. It's a pretty long drop down, which I'm amazed I'm doing this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, my, my, uh, my fear factor is up right now. And I know that makes me a wimp because I'm not really that high up, but it's, I'm higher up than it looks on the video. I can tell looking through the camera, but I, I do feel the uh, nervousness going on. I thought that was somebody screaming at first. Pretty cool though. All right. Now I have a feeling that the uh, the kiln is not on this side. That it's probably back on the other side going down there. Well, trying to figure out where I came in. Yeah, well, I said it was directly across from this rock. So that other rock that I was right next to is straight across that way. So we're just going to go back around, backtrack to that area down there. All right, so I got to where I was before. That's the trail that continues to go up so we could see the scenic view of the uh, quarry, but I thought, why not take this a little ways, see where it takes us. I kind of feel like this is taking us backwards towards the farmhouse, but we'll see. Path gets a little narrow up here. Huh. The remains of the lime kiln. 
Oh, we got just about to walk right past it. So here's the side of it. Sorry for the uh, glare on the lens. My uh, camera is slightly cracked. Wonder if there's a trail up here that goes around so you can get a better look at it. Kind of see it through the through the bushes there. Hmm. Well, I have the deep woods off on. I might as well utilize it. Some gopher holes or groundhog holes. All right, I need a stick. <laughs> Too many spider webs. I'm just walking into another one right now. Got me a stick. And I'm getting rid of the webs. <laughs> just have to keep waving it in front of me. I don't know if I can get up here. Let's see, maybe this side. I just have to watch my step. Because I am on a on an incline, and you can see, it's not bad, but it'd be one heck of a tumble fall. All right, so we're actually on top of it at the moment. Um, seems like I could go off this way, and we'd be a little closer to it. So let's give that a shot. I got to switch hands here. More bending down. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually hear my foot sliding down the hill. I'm trying to find things to brace myself on that aren't giving way. And trying not to touch any of the vines. Alright. So, we actually weren't on... Well, maybe this whole thing, maybe where I'm standing is where they burned the uh, limestone. Because here's part of it here. And the other part, you can see it's like falling away. That's why I didn't want to step out too far when we were on top of that. Because I didn't want to cause like a, a landslide of these rocks. But see if I can get this vine out of the way. Because I don't know what the vine is. And I don't want to find out the hard way. I know I see thorns in front of me. There we go. Nice up close look. I just had to go through a lot of brush. And this thing, if. If this was the side and where I came down was where they burned it and then that was the other side, this thing was huge. I think that might have been the case. So there could be pieces of limestone. This could be made of limestone for all. I don't know. But there could be pieces that they that they had burned in still in there. If I knew what limestone looked like, I'd be able to tell. You'd think I would have researched that, right? Nah. Everything's last minute with me. All right. Let's get back out of here now. Not easy to do when you're holding a stick and a camera and a water canteen. See, I came down from this way. Had to think about that for a second. It's harder to get up than it was to come down. <laughs> Thank God for sturdy trees. Whew. So yeah, so we're standing right now on the part that was crumbling away. And this is as close as I get. Because 
I don't want to be crushed by a bunch of rocks. All right. Now we just got to make our way back down. I think we came this way. If not, oh well, that's the way we're going. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we came this way. Although, I don't know, spider webs are there. It just amazes me how that'll happen. You could pass through an area, clear the spider webs, come back to the area thinking that you have you have it all clear and there'll be more spider webs. Trying to avoid the leaves or whatever that was growing there because it looked like they had oil on them. Yeah, this is the way we came. So, there it was. The limestone kiln. The lime kiln. That gets nice and open here. It's nice right here. A nice place to stop and take a drink of water. We'll keep going on this trail for a little bit and uh, see where it takes us. Though if my internal navigational systems are right, this should be, we should be running parallel to that open grassy area. There's just a lot more hills in here than I thought there would be. Seems like there's another open grassy area over here. It's like a, like a path. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I can see it goes up through there. Well, all right, is what we'll do. I'm gonna turn you off here and uh, make my way back to the dirt trails. And we'll take another one. So it wasn't too long actually. And I uh, decided this one kind of goes off. There's the trail there that we came up on. Glad I thought I'd see what this was up here hanging in this tree. The red kind of caught my eye. I have no idea what this is. It's just like a bunch of wreaths. Huh. Interesting. path doesn't go much further, it looks like. It gets really narrow. We'll go up it a little bit. Another reason why I'm trying to rush through all these is I forgot to charge my phone. This looks like a place where a deer would have been laying. And, uh, yeah, this trail just goes around and comes back out on that, that trail. So we'll get back down there. All right, so back at the uh, the lime kiln here, I forgot to stop and read the sign here. So it says, the remains of the lime kiln. The lime kiln was one of two lime kilns used to burn the limestone from the quarry. Built into the hillside, the kiln faces north with a tall, slightly sloping, dry, faca dry laid facade. The third of the 25 foot long facade where the opening was to feed the kiln is collapsed. So I guess that's what that is in the middle. Um, there is no evidence of sidewalks to the kiln due to its construction into the bank. The bank appears as part of the natural terrain and was probably used by horse-drawn wagons to load the kiln. The date of the limestone quarry was opened and when the kilns were constructed has not been clearly established the first reference to the quarry and the kilns is in 1830. 
uh, it's an advertisement which describes the kiln as well constructed in good order recommending their it just cuts off <laughs> recommending there there was a path from the barn through the meadow up into the woods to the lime kiln so I, I didn't say I was the best reader <laughs> There it is. Pretty cool. Alright. Moving on. And here we are once again at the quarry from the bottom. So, I don't know if you can see it. It's right about uh, somewhere in here. I can't get my finger pinpoint let me zoom in there it is right there that's the rock we were standing on and then up there right about in here somewhere is the other trail pretty cool place though I gotta say all right so here we are back out in this open area this little grove or whatever you want to call it maybe grove isn't the right word I don't know but uh, I don't know if, uh, if I want a chance going further. Not that I feel I'll be lost or anything, but one, it is pretty humid out. The sweat is falling rapidly. And the bugs won't leave me alone. What the heck, Deep Woods off. And before we leave, I figured I'd show you the playground area. I was going to show you this on the way in, but there was people in here and I didn't want to disturb them. You know, I mean, nothing, nothing all that huge. Just a playground, little area for kids. But, you know, it's pretty cool, I guess. They have... I don't know what this is. There's two of them, so I guess maybe this is just something for the kids to talk into and then they can hear hear each other from over here. Let's uh let's find out. See if I can figure out a way to have you right here. Without my uh you know what I'm gonna take the camera out of the gimbal and just kinda set it right right in here all right let's see if this works i'm gonna set you in here well that was fun if it worked <laughs> anyway seems that they're having some kind of vendor event here at the farm when I first came in, I was asked if I was a vendor. There was a truck blocking the way, sort of. And I said, no, I just came in to walk around. And they're like, oh, all right, go ahead. I guess if I was a vendor, I would have had to pay them something. But yeah, there's a lot more vehicles here now than there was when I got here. And uh, I don't want to film any of them because, you know, privacy and stuff. But so I guess that's going to be the end here. So if this is your first time here, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified as soon as I upload new videos. They've been coming out at least once a week for quite a while now. And I'm still on the trail. <laughs> on the trail. I'm still on the trail to 1,000 subscribers. I am less than 100 away now. Last I looked, I was at 908. That's right, 92 more subscribers. And that's it. And I get to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. I cannot wait. I'm going to have to plan something really big for the 1,000 subscriber episode. I think when I hit 300 is when I went to Washington's Crossing. Not that that was like a big number or anything like that, but it was big to me. Anyway, so yes, make sure you hit the subscribe button, you hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit the thumbs up right below this video. Show that you like this video. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Give the video a comment, even if you just give a thumbs up in the comment. It's cool. Any comment will work. And uh, I really appreciate all the supportive comments that I've gotten over the last couple of years of this channel. And, yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to get out of here. I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you stay safe, 
Stay healthy and take care.